The prairie grasslands used to cover much of North America. If you look carefully, you can still find amazing remnants of the prairie. Prairies can be full of plants, bees, butterflies, and many other animals that call the prairie home. Some prairie preserves are rich with life. They are typically managed with prescribed burns every few years. A prescribed fire is set and controlled by trained managers. But preserves that are not managed with fire lose vigor. Weeds and trees may invade. The prairie plants disappear and prairie animals can't live without their habitat. How does fire keep plant populations from local extinction? Scientists and land managers don't know the whole answer, but they do know that fires help plants either survive or reproduce. To better understand how fire affects plant reproduction, scientists from the Chicago Botanic Garden followed the flowering and mating activity of coneflower plants in a prairie for 21 years. These individual plants lived many years, but didn't flower every year. Whether a plant reproduced successfully depended on which year it flowered. Consider a typical plant in a typical year. It has potential mates, but most are far away, and sometimes the plants are not able to mate at the same time. Bees still visit the flowers, but little pollen is transferred, and this plant produces few seeds. If plants fail to produce seed year after year, their numbers will dwindle, and they could disappear. But consider this same plant in a year after managers burn the preserve. Many more potential mates are flowering nearby. Timing becomes synchronized. When bees visit, they efficiently pollinate. So this plant produces many seeds and new plants emerge and grow, ensuring the population will persist. This story of burning, flowering, mating, and producing seeds of the purple coneflowers in Minnesota shows how fire helps prairie plants find mates, reproduce, and flourish. Fire probably helps many plant species in the prairie and in grasslands and other habitats around the world.